Cameron, thank you. The largest fresh egg producer in the United States is in Farwell, but they had to shut down yesterday and they were forced to put down hundreds of thousands of chickens because of a positive test for the bird flu. And it's not just birds that are getting sick now with this. KMX Juliana Washburn is here to tell us more about it. Well, Brian and Lauren, the Farwell plant shutdown comes just days after a Texas man got the avian flu and a month after we've seen herds of West Texas cows come down with it too. I spoke with two experts today that gave me some insight on how this spread can affect us consumers and our dairy producers too. We had a mysterious disease going through our dairy herds up there. Cows getting sick. It was a total mystery. Milk production all of a sudden going down. We, uh, uh, you know, figured out that it was bird flu. One person even getting sick too. Well, we have a lot of unanswered questions. We, we don't we don't know if it's transferred from cow to cow or cow to human. Now the avian flu taking millions of eggs in Farwell. A week supply of eggs from that facility has to be destroyed. That's several million eggs too. Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller saying this is concerning for our panhandle producers who just braved the wildfires. But Miller says we shouldn't be too concerned. It's less than 4% of their overall production. So it's, it's not enough to make a blip on the radar as uh, far as having a crisis of shortage of, of eggs or, or uh, chickens. But cows getting the avian flu in the first place is uncharted territory, according to a professor in Tex Veterinary School, Clinton Roof. We are seeing cows that are normally producing between 75 and 100 pounds of milk suddenly dropping 40% or more in their daily production. Ruff saying if this sickness continues to run through cows, it could be devastating for dairy producers and potentially raise prices at grocery stores. These producers aren't going to be able to um, carry forward and unfortunately may end up having to go bankrupt or uh, their business will go under. Miller saying he thinks dairy producers and grocery store prices will be okay since cows recover from the sickness within a week, but both experts searching for answers. We're kind of trying to create new responses, new treatments, new support for these animals. Miller tells me there are no eggs or milk in the food system with bird flu, but it's never a bad idea to be cautious and cook your eggs fully before eating them or avoid raw milk while they're still trying to find answers. All right, Julia.